was Robert Easter and Javier Fontuna. I'm hearing this fight might happen. And to me, Robert Easter is going to knock out Javier Fontuna. So easy. He's Javier Fontuna is ranked number one in the WBC for Mikey Garcia belt. I guess he's Mikey's next mandatory. So it's a good fight for um, Robert to do. Like maybe the WBC might push the fight a little bit more if if they fight each if if Robert def- defeats um, Javier Fontuna. And I know for a fact. He's going to knock out Javier for yeah. So, so easy, man. <laughs> He's not even a 135 fighter. He's really a 130 yeah. fighter. But anyways, what's your take on this way? I mean, Javier Fortuna, is a, he's an exciting fighter. He is. He's a good fighter. And he, I love watching his fights, but he does have a chin issue. And it's a fight for Robert Easter, who's been having tough fights. Shavikov, what was the guy, Cruz, Kami, where he's winning good, hard-earned 12-round fights where he can get a knockout. He can find, like, let's get Robert Easter a knockout and let him shine, you know what I mean? So maybe Mikey will look his way and fight him. And if you don't know, if you haven't been up to date and you don't know who Fortuna is, he's got some good wins on his resume. He's an ex-world champion, but like Barr said, it's true. He has a chin issue, and if Robert Easter doesn't spark him, which I expect fully Robert Easter to spark him, knock him out with a straight one-two or an uppercut coming in, Fortuna's a short guy, another short guy. And obviously, Robert Easter's t- real tall for the division, but, I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna have to give – if Robert don't get him out of there and knock him out, he can't get no higher than a D for a grade, a D minus. Like, I, I fully expect him to knock Fortuna out. And he's knocking out a good fighter with a, with a chin issue, so catch him on the chin. Catch him. Who, how many times – Fortuna been knocked out how many times? He's been knocked out a few times, you know. Well, he's only Sosa. got knocked out once. He only lost one fight, so. No, Sosa. but he's been dropped. But I've seen him dropped. And yeah, few, he's, he's been dropped. Fight. He, he, he never, gets he never dropped. keeps his hands up. Yeah. Um, I like it. But don't get me wrong. Yo, I love Javier Fortuna. Like, yo, he's exciting. Yeah, I'm a fan like, of Fortuna. I, yeah, I me too. It's an easy smoke for Robert. And Stylistically, a, I feel like Robert's a nightmare thing. for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Like it's not like yeah. if it was at one thirty, I would have. I would have given him like you know what I'm saying the edge of yeah. a lot of people, but it's not one thirty. But he's jumping anymore. up. It's one thirty five. Yeah. So like, I wish we were seeing. I, mean, I would. Got, I would have loved to. See, I would have loved to see Fortuna versus Tevin Farmer for the one thirty championship. I understand these Japanese Japanese dudes are tall, but I don't even know the Japanese dude. At least I know Javier Fortuna. But right. anyway. But that's yeah. all we got, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Is the Cornerman Radio with Barzini and Box and I. We coming back. We're going to do more interviews. Just wait and see, man. We out.